Uh, I'm Nathan Bryan and I play the character of Dino. Um, Dino is um, a drug abuser. He's had quite a hard time at home, had a really hard time at school. Um, in the play, like you might think straight away he's a bad guy. He's not a bad guy. He's got issues that have kind of always been not back or not looked at properly or not dealt with properly. So obviously um, he goes about and commits a crime um, at the at the, obviously in, which isn't in the play, but you hear about it. Um, he's there's he's quite quirky, quite funny, almost a little bit. Um, maybe it's autistic if that's the word. If he'll say something and he knows exactly what he's saying, but it'll be very blunt. So even though he's talking to VJ about killing his girlfriend, he's more than happy to throw in a joke when he's ready or uh, a powerful line, and that's just who he is. He's not trying to be malicious or vindictive about the scenario. Um, I'm going to enjoy... I already started enjoying a lot about playing Dino because I, I usually do a lot of comedy roles, so everything I do is just totally silly, fun, like really crazy. So th he is really deep and twisted, but what I love as well is that or maybe it's what I'm bringing to his character, is that I bring a little bit of comedy. So th the lines where he is so blunt and this and that, it's quite fun adding a little smile to it or adding a little something that is a little bit different. So I'm enjoying that a lot. Um, I'm enjoying working with Carl as well because we've worked together on quite a few projects. So coming back and where we're enemies as well, so that's always nice. So. We've got some real banter there. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm enjoying the whole process. I really, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. We got the script, and I, I had a read over the script. But I never, when I, my first read of it, I didn't fully acknowledge the depth of your character because what you do, you, you read it, and you're like, oh wow, what a great play. And then you kind of put it to a side, and you get on the train, go and get dinner. You almost forget about it, and then in rehearsals, it all kind of clicks. You're like, wow, this character's so in depth, and. You, we, we got a few DVDs and we got a pack and we're going through it and half the things or half the issues in the play I didn't really, I knew that people had problems with their brain and dementia and Alzheimer's and stuff like that but I didn't have a clue of how in depth it was, I didn't have a clue that scientists are trying to get rights to look inside your brain and there were just so many things that I'm learning and kind of bringing on. I'm, with Dino, he obviously had quite a, a hard problem with drugs, so um, it is really interesting. And with young people in this day and age as well, is that they're always talking about drugs and drug dealers. If you think of a drug dealer, you associate them as a young person. So it was really interesting um, kind of doing my research, Google, looking up, I don't know, drug addicts, seeing what their tics were, seeing what what drove them, what was their thing. And what I found really interesting was that addicts are, well, some addicts, let's say, are really proud to be addicts. It's like what they're good at. Like, if I'm good at football, it's what I'm proud of. But it's what, it, for them, it's they're proud of their addiction. So um, that was really interesting for me. So, again, that put another layer. So when I was reading the lines, it gave another motive that, OK, well, when he's saying some of these statements, that sounds shocking to me, Nathan, as Dino, he's really proud, like, it's what he's good at, so that was really interesting for me.